I always like songs that are simple, that are straight to the point. And um, as a listener, that you think that the song might fall apart any minute. I like that. I like, you know, I like a lot of folk music, like the old school 70s, or late 60s, Terry Reid and Neil Young and stuff like that. It's like, a, it's like an old, like a rocking chair. Something really endearing, but really creaky, and you're not quite sure if you want to sit down, if it, you know, if, if it takes it takes the weight or not. There's a lot of a lot of younger people who weren't there for Guns N' Roses and 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 Depeche, you know, people who were actually born in the 90s, and like yeah, that's and that's crazy. It's like you know they don't know. Enjoy the silence, and for me that's blasphemy. We were kind of reintroducing the sounds of our idols. We've ripped off their weapons to the, you know, of mass destruction to be used by us sonically. <laughs> I think they are a couple of bands, but not a lot of bands, who who uh, do understand the tradition and the history of rock and roll um, enough uh, not to take themselves too seriously while still making the music seriously. So you play your instruments as good as you can, you write the best songs you can, but you're not like thinking that you're the shit. And a lot of people do that, you know, and I don't think it takes you really far. Both musically and as, as, as philosophy of life, you know, the, the more honest and straightforward you are, the less you have to lose. And when you're being really direct and really honest about things, whether it be a conversation or a song, nobody can really diss you. So, uh, back to our horror conversation, you excited for the new Nightmare on Elm Street? I'm not quite sure. As opposed to rehashing things, you know, it'd be nice to see something new, something unexpected, because that's what was going on when we were kids. You know, cross those boundaries. What Clive Barker did with uh, the first Hellraiser, it was a big deal when it came out, and it's kind of like an art house film to a certain extent. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. I know a lot about horror film, but I haven't seen it all. You know, what what I want to do now is basically I want to go back to the Roger Coleman Poe uh, films because I haven't seen that stuff in ages. That's why we, you know, it's always great to discuss because there's always something new that sticks in the air and, and, and a new film to look forward to. If you <laughs> checked out Dario Argento, you know, he, he's he's a kooky fella. We, we were trying to get in touch with Dario because he, he, he was the first horror movie director who used metal music. Remember, he used in the 80s, he used, uh, he used Iron Maiden and stuff like that in his movies. Nobody else had done that before. We, we were trying to uh, reach out to him if he would have uh, directed a video for us. And uh, we were in Venice, and he got stuck in traffic. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's the greatest excuse ever. But uh, Argento got stuck in traffic, so we never got to work together. Not yet, at least. <laughs> <laughs>